All right, so today we are graphing inequalities, similar to what we did yesterday. Here we have y is greater than negative 2x minus 8. So where do we start? Uh, negative, negative 8. 8. Negative 8. Down 8. So yes, we go right there, down 8. What is the slope? Negative 2x. Ah, come on, you're getting a flood the ball. There you go. What is the slope? Negative 2. Negative 2, fabulous. So if the slope is negative two, what else do we need? Come on, Morgan. Oh, you it, it, it hit it your it. chair. You had to move away from it. Pegger. Pegger, I'll give me five dollars. No, no. <laughs> it's a little cushy ball. Oh, baby. you I'll talk right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not baseball. You know it's sports. <laughs> It was like right in the middle. Yeah. All you had to do was kind of clap. What do we need here? Uh, to use the slope, what do we need? To lose the slope. I want to use this negative two. <clears throat> what? Yes. How do I use the arrows? Oh, good job. How do I write the arrows? How do I write the arrows for the slope thing? You know, do we go up or down, left or right? I don't know my left You were like a what? Okay. Always right. Initially, you know, initially. You can, so if I went down and right, clearly I can't do that pattern anymore. But I got it started, and now I can work backwards to do the rest. So I'm getting ready to write our line. Does it need to be dashed or solid, Mr. Goss? Dashed, fabulous. Now, when, when you were doing those on the paper, I was trying to get everybody to extend those out. Okay, above or below. Trey, you ready? We're gonna talk about shading. This is a greater than symbol, above or below? Okay, but the question then becomes for students like, which one is above? Because it's kind of in half. So what we need to do is maybe use a shape or something. Have them vertical to one another. Would it be star or circle? Which one's above? Star. The star, so there we go. That's the shaded region. That's the answer. Any questions? No. All right. So if you're doing this one on, on, th on the program, you put a dot and then the other dot. Whoops. That, yeah, that's right. And then they have changed the line. So once you've established the line and we have it at negative eight down to over one, we can also change the shading. Pretty easy, right? Does that match what we have? She yeah. Has, she has a question. Yeah, what's up? Can I change my marker? Yeah. Is it junk? Yeah. Here, throw it away. Um, here are the others. So I mean they're old. Alright, so let's see. Let's see if we did this correctly or if I need to go back to college. Sometimes I need to go back to college. Alright, we're good to go. What college you went to? Oh, hold on. Which time? Which time? I mean, it took me three tries. First time. First time. I had a scholarship to Anderson College in South Carolina. I wrestled there for a year. They were ter they were not very good. So what you going to say? I walked on at Georgia State. They were the only college in Georgia because I had a Hope Grant and scholarship and stuff. And it was a Division One program. And I thought I could handle that. Did you ask for my dad? Yes, and we were college roommates. We both went to Anderson. Your dad trounced me my first three years. It took me three years to before I could beat him. Yeah. But then, I, so I beat him at the region championships, and then he beat me the next weekend in overtime and became a state placer, and I was one match away from placing, and I did not place. And then we didn't wrestle our senior years because we were in different divisions. 
and then we were in the same division again in college freshman year. King, where do I start? Oh, uh, plus three. Up three. Very good. Oh. Man, better color up. Three. What is our slope? Two thirds. All right, two thirds. How do I do two thirds with the arrows? You go, go up, right? Hold on. MJ, shut up. You got to share, MJ. I think we need to start with both. Maybe. Okay. But well, I got I to gotta use the program here. Let me see. So we started at three, up to over three. I think that's what we decided, right? Solid or dashed? Dashed. Okay, now above or below, you want to use your fingers. It's going to be my left hand or right hand. My left hand is above. Do the vertical test here. It's always above, that's greater than. So we want it shaded there. We good to go? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Let's do one more. Uno mas. Okay. I'm not assigning that kind. <coughs> Maybe. Yeah. All right, so we start at an A to five. The slope on this X, there is an X, so there is a slope. It has a one X. There's at least one if there is an X there. So it's positive, so it's up one over one. There we have it. So this line does not have the underline. So it's dashed and it's below. So left hand or right hand? Right, right, right hand. hand. And there would be our solution. And we'd we'll be good to go. Look, the, usually I don't do this, but today this delta math will have a higher penalty. If you get one wrong, you lose a point. You get two, you get two tries still. There's 15 of them. To do the actual standard, which is graphing two of those things, we have to be experts at doing one of those things. But if you finish this, the next thing I need you to do is make sure you finish the assignment from the other day so that you're all done with everything, and then you're then at that point you will be good to go or completed with your work today.